Now that is more like it, San Diego. We told you a warm up was in store, especially for those coastal and inland neighborhoods. Well, guess what? We got it to go along with some bluebird skies across the entire county. You can't ask for a better weather weekend here in San Diego. Good news for you. Those clear conditions, they're going to be sticking with us just to show you how warm we got today. 78 degrees in San Diego. 74 is the average for this time of year, so we got warmer. We're back up above average. 80 is average for El Cajon, so we're right where we want to be. 82 degrees in Poway, 81 in Escondido for your uh, forecast highs for Saturday. But this is this is the jump. This is going to paint the picture for you. We increased six degrees in a 24 hour span in San Diego. Same with El Cajon. 8 degree bump in Vista, so we got a lot warmer there. 7 degrees in Fallbrook as well. Those conditions will stick around for the most part. And then your other areas, the mountain and desert neighborhoods, they're going to see a big increase. They're a little bit slower to get there, but by next Wednesday, you will definitely be feeling it. You'll see that in a second on our extended forecast. Here's where we top out tomorrow along the coast in the low to upper 70s across that entire area. Low 80s for our inland neighborhoods in the 70s, low 70s in Palomar Mountain and Julian, high 80s in Campo or in the mid 80s in Borrego Springs. Same goes for Ocotillo Wells. Uh, along the coast and really everywhere, those clear conditions, those clear skies are going to be sticking with us. However, once we get to Monday and then on along the coast, those low marine layer clouds are going to return, but everywhere else should be looking pretty clear for the next seven days. It's going to be very nice. Here's what the seven day forecast looks like along the coast back below average for all seven days. Now, in addition to those clouds returning also on Sunday, I'm tracking an increase in wind gusts. Now, those Santa Ana winds are weakening compared to where we've been, but still by the early afternoon, you can expect some gusts to potentially reach 25 miles an hour. They taper off. That trend continues for a couple days, but then it should be pretty calm after that. Your inland neighborhoods right around average, a little bit above average, actually, I would say, and they warm up just a bit before we get a little bit cooler into next weekend. Here's where we go hour by hour uh, in those inland areas. This is uh, really an El Cajon. You start off at, look at that temperature swing from 54 degrees to start your day, a 30 degree bump by the time we hit our peak at around 83, 84 degrees. Now, I told you about the warm up coming for the mountains, just a little bit laggy behind. Look at that 10 degree swing from Sunday to Wednesday before it cools off. And then you think that's a lot. Check out the desert. Desert areas topped out around like 82 degrees for your Saturday. So a huge increase getting all the way back up to 98 degrees by next Wednesday.